Good morning, guys. It is the start of our day in Rome. Our cruise ship, thank you, Jason. Our cruise ship is over there behind those buildings. We are on a bus heading from Civita Vecchia, um, which is the coastal town where our ship is landed, and we are heading to Rome on this uh, bus. It's not a tour. They're not going to do any talking. It's Rome on your own is the name of the package. It's kind of gloomy, but it's supposed to be a sunny day, about 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so the uh, tour guide just passed out a map here of Rome, and he's going to walk us through where they're going to drop us off and pick us up. Um, and then from there, we can kind of plan our own strategy for how we want to see the city. Last night, I went ahead and bought tickets to see the Colosseum, which is down here. Um, so we have a 10-15 reservation for that. And um, I also wanted to see the Vatican, which is over here. But you need advanced tickets to get into that also. And those were sold out for today. So I don't think we'll get to see um, the Vatican on this trip. So I, I'm not sure if things changed because of COVID. But if you weren't aware, um, when you do travel to Europe, a lot of these um, famous sites like um, Sagrada Familia and the Vatican and the Colosseum, you need to go ahead and try to book your tickets as far in advance as you can to make sure that you can get in um, on the day that you want. So yeah, he's going to come back by here point out key areas for our drop off and pick up and then from there we'll come up with a strategy to see as much as we can see for the duration of the time that we're going to have in the city. In the meantime we're just going to ride the highways I guess until we get to Rome. Okay so we are on our way from Civita Vecchia to Rome. It takes about an hour on the bus. There's nothing to see as you can see it's just kind of farmland. Um, and highway and when we arrive the tour guide said that we'll be 10 minutes away from a hop on hop off bus stop where we can buy tickets so we're gonna just walk there and get those and then we can ride that bus to the Coliseum do our tour and then go from there for the rest of the day. I was looking into getting a taxi, um, which would take about 10 minutes and cost about 10 bucks. I think this is better since I think it's 20 something dollars and it would cover all of our transportation for the day. And there's, there's goats and cows. Um, so, yeah. In case you're interested in doing this tour or interested in the hop on hop off bus, generally in Rome it is running. I originally tried to book it through the cruise ship as an excursion, and for some reason NCL said that it was no longer available, so that made me think that the tour was no longer running in Rome, but I don't know why Norwegian is no longer selling that as, a, as an excursion. But you can still buy it, you just need to book your um, trip, your transfer rather, from the cruise ship to Rome, and then you can just buy the tickets when you get there. So that's what we're going to do. Alrighty, I'll check back in with you once we arrive in Rome, and um, we're situated. Okay, so we just got off the bus, and now... Uh, we're gonna follow our tour guide. He's over there holding up a number 14. To Piazza, de po Piazza del Popolo. And um, because we arrived at 10, uh, Piazza del Popolo is over there. Um, we arrived at 10 and our reservation for the Coliseum tour is at 10.15.
we're gonna stick to the original plan and take a cab directly there and then just walk our way back to Piazza del Popolo. So we're just walking with the group now over to our meeting place and then from there he's going to direct us where to go to catch a taxi and then we'll just go from there. <laughs> Yeah, we're here. We are in Rome. Okay, so we are now in the Piazza del Popolo. There's my tour guy. And I suppose this is the central place where we're going to meet that. Oh, this, is, this is really cool. Good morning. Morning. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. Like this is this is exactly like gorgeous. That's it. Well, where are you going? We're going to see the Piazza like, de Papa. It is so the the only. So we're now departing the Piazza del Popolo and in our cab and heading to the Colosseum for our appointment. Make sure that you ask the cab drivers if they accept credit card because not all of them do, some of them are cash only. So each taxi that you get into, you need to, or before you jump into one, make sure you ask the question first if you don't have any cash or if you want to conserve your cash. So we are at the Coliseum. We just got dropped off over there. So we walked down this street and now we're about to head down these steps really quickly um, so that we can make our way over to the ticket team location. Okay. So we came down the steps and it appears to be the Metro. That's gonna put us out right here. And we're gonna make our way to uh, over here. Looks like. Okay. To get to the tickets. I think it's that way, babe. The ticket office, the sign's pointing that way. Okay. I'm looking at that sign right there. So I think we come up here and we cross the street and get in, get in over here. Uh, cigarette smoke everywhere. Smoking is a thing in Europe. So if you're not used to that, uh, emotionally prepare yourself. Okay, we're 
walking over to the location for the individual tickets. Trying to find it. Lord, it's chaos out here. It's out of chaos. People are just hanging out. I see we're going through here. And we're arriving at this tent. Alright, so we just came through the entrance over there. Um, our guided tour has already started, so we're going to just make our way inside now. Oh, it's massive. It's massive. you got to go through security here. So I'm going to turn off my camera so that we can get through this little bit. Okay, so we just came through security, and now we're walking this way, hopefully to get inside. I'm not going to worry too much about catching up to our tour guide. You know, if we catch them, great. If we don't, it's whatever. Okay, so now, now where do we go? I'm just going to follow the crowd. I guess we go this way. There's no signs or anything. All right, so if you do get the guided tour, this is the meeting point. Um, they also have elevators and bathrooms inside. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna get started. Again, I did get a guided tour, but we were running late. The bus uh, took a little longer to get here and then we had to find a cab and then there was traffic so I didn't really time that out well um, it's a man on a horse or the bits of him that, that's left um, so yeah and it's fine that we're not doing the tour because um we don't have a lot of time anyway in this place. Yeah, I'm gonna try to try to get through it relatively quickly so that we can um, move on to the next thing. Huh? This is what it holds here. Alright, so we're going to continue on around the circle. We basically come out of that little area and continue walking in a circle around the Coliseum. Okay, so we came to the end here, and then you're going to continue up these stairs to the second level. There's also an elevator in case you need to use it. All right, so you get to the top of the steps here, and we're going to proceed <sighs> over this way. And you can read about some of the artifacts, etc. The lift is over here. Do you need it? You can start reading. Before proceeding inside, okay. let's proceed down this way. Okay, so after you proceed past um, the exhibits, 
you're going to come through this hallway to the entrance to the upstairs interior part of the Coliseum here. Excuse me. So delicious. And here we are. And you just continue around. And try to find a convenient spot to get a view inside. <coughs> that's the area where we were before. <laughs> and this is the Coliseum. So Jason and I were just over there. That's a really good place to take selfies. If you're interested, we're still making our way a circle around the Coliseum. And here's another shot of it. And there's a little explanation board right here. If you'd like some guidance on what you're looking at. So we just stepped away from the interior to come over here and get this beautiful shot of the archway there with the umbrella signs. It's a really nice shot. This is a good place for a selfie as well. All right, so we just came down off of that top level. We're now on the interior of the Coliseum. And we're just gonna go over here where we can get a nice good view. Yeah. It's the inside. There's also a little platform here. I'm just gonna go around them. And then you just make your way around here and there. And there's, there's a little cross where we started. Okay. Okay. É isso aí. Seu jogo. Alright, so we just came out. And we are heading over this way to the arch. Get another shot of that. And then we will walk to our our next destination. Which I don't know. I don't know what that is. I have to look at a map. Oh, this is cool. They're doing Race for the Cure. Susan G. Coleman. All right, so we're leaving our beloved Coliseum, heading over to the arch. I'm gonna walk around here, see if we can get a good shot of it. Oh, I'm trying to hold my camera and not the eye on these cobblestones. <laughs> there is uneven pavement, so make sure you bring very comfortable walking shoes. Don't try to look cute. Make sure you can uh, not die as you walk around trying to get your shots. <laughs> Beautiful. 
I'm gonna zoom in here so we can get some detail. All right, so now that I'm closer, I see that it is actually the Roman Forum, Palatine Hill. Um, so we're going to head towards the altar of the Fatherland, which is, I don't know where, but nearby. And there's another arch that way. So uh, let me look at my map and figure it out. All right, so we're done taking selfies and pictures here. We're gonna go there next. That is the altar of the fatherland, I believe. So we're gonna go check it out. I don't know if you have to pay to get inside or anything. Um, so we'll see. All right, so one thing to note that a lot of the roads here are going to be made out of these very, very, very smooth cobblestones. And they're extremely slippery. So do be careful as you make your way on these ankle breakers. Again, wear comfortable shoes. The small ones aren't as bad. But those big ones will take you out. Okay, so we just came through security for the archway, which is not my destination, trying to get to the altar of the fatherland. But you have to come this way. Um, or go all the way out of the Colosseum, I guess, in order to get through to get to the altar of the Fatherland. So I just asked one of the security guards, and he said that we just proceed through here, and then it will be a five-minute walk to get there. So not, not a big deal, as long as you can get through. And you will need a ticket to get through. So luckily, the ticket that I bought for the Colosseum includes um, includes this exhibit as well. So um, it's just a nice little addition to our walk as we make our way to the exit, wherever that may be, to get through and out of here so that we can move on to other sites. So this is the Arch of Titus. All right, so we're gonna continue to make our way towards the exit, and which I think is down there somewhere. Probably through the Roman Forum. So. So that way to the Roman Forum and that way to Palatino. Yeah. So we're going to head this way and hope that the exit is over here. So we are making a way to through the Roman Forum, which is gorgeous, by the way. Towards the... This is really cool, actually. I'm glad, glad we came in here. This is a lot more than just the arch. <laughs> but, yeah, we are making our way down to the... And you're going to pass on this. We need to uh, start making tracks, but we're going to continue to make our way. So let's move from here to the top of the Alright. No, we'll be here shortly. Wow, there's so much to see. I was joking earlier that, you know, I can't really enjoy the sights for the cobblestones trying to take us out. Um, Jason tripped earlier as well, so you really have to be careful. So, like, you want to look up at everything, but then you need to look down so you don't, you don't lose it and wash out on the sidewalk as well. But 
absolutely gorgeous. See, this is what I'm talking about. You really have to be careful through here. And these rocks are so well worn, but they're super smooth. Now forget about the stampede. So I'm taking my life into my own hands as I get this footage for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. I'm going to pause here. But yeah, there's so much to see just in this one little park here. You could literally spend an entire day just here, but we need to make tracks. Because we're going to walk our way back to our uh, pickup point and see as much as we can along the way. Plus, we still need to eat. So, we're just going to keep it pushing in this general direction until we get to our next destination. Still making our way down the street here. There's literally so much to see, it's overwhelming. Like you really need to come here and spend a week or two. Okay, so we finally made it. It was a short walk. It wasn't that bad. We were mostly slowed down by the cobblestone. She massive. Oh my gosh, she's huge. She is humongous. Look, to give you some reference, that's that's a guy. That is a grown man. Like, look, 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 look. <laughs> like, I'm standing really far back right now just so that I can try to capture this. But, yeah. Massive. So, we're going to walk around here. So, we get a shot from the front. And then we will continue on to our next destination massive roundabout square right here <laughs> security all over the place and here it is from the front oh, horses carriages in case you want to tour Rome that way and here we go oh, massive People are heading up the stairs over here to get inside. We will not be going inside because we don't have time. Um, we gotta get back. But yeah, if you are interested, the stairs are here. The entrance is right there, right, right there. You see people walking in and out. And you're gonna proceed in that little door there this wrought iron gate and then up these stairs to the main entrance which is in there but yeah not today not today not today so now we're gonna move on to our next destination by the way mom and dad are on a hop on hop off bus so I see one right there and they do have a stop for this location so if you're interested you can jump, jump on one of those. All right, so we walk down the street and we are stopping here for lunch before we continue on to the Pantheon, which is gonna be that way. So you just proceed in. It's a beautiful setup. And we're gonna be sitting over here to the left. And here's our menu. We're sitting inside because it's a little warm. We're just going to try to order. It's currently 12.30. We need to be back by 3.30, so we've got three hours. Um, but it's quite a bit of walking. Not that much. It's about 10-15 minutes between each, each spot. So I think we'll probably have plenty of time, but I'm going to go ahead and eat. We haven't had breakfast. If you missed that clip this morning, you were like, where's, where's the breakfast clip? There was no breakfast clip because we didn't eat breakfast. We literally woke up and rolled out 
um, at 740. Um, and we, because we booked this tour through the cruise line, we met up in the theater, the epic theater, where we were then directed to the bus, which is where we started filming today. So, here's how we're looking for the menu. I'm hoping that we can order and get in and out pretty quickly because we're one of three tables. So, hoping for some fast service. And there we have it. All right, so to go with our bread, we ordered the house special, which is lasagna. Jason and I got the same. We also got a bottle of sparkling water. Something that we've noticed is that their water, their sparkling water is not as effervescent as ours. Um, there is gas in there, but it's not, it's not the same type of, um, the same level that we have in the States. So this is, I think, the second or third time that we've ordered a bottle of sparkling water in Europe. Or in Italy specifically. Yeah, Italy. where the, the, the carbonation level was quite low. Yeah. Uh, the first bottle I just assumed, oh, maybe it's been sitting for too long and it just got flat. But no, I think that's just how they do their stuff. But all right, we're going to dive in and eat. Okay, right, guys, so we're leaving now. We are heading towards the Pantheon. And heads up, we got sticker shock because we ordered the special. It was only $15 for the, uh, sorry, I'm dodging pigeons. It was only $15 each for the euro. Thank you, Jason. 15 euro each for the um, um, lasagna, which was a bit bland. Gonna be honest, it was a bit bland. Um, and yeah, I know that we're Americans and we like salt, but there was no rosemary, no thyme, no nothing not a lot of parmesan like it was bland um we ate it because that's our first meal of the day literally and we were starving but 15 but from 15 euros bland food and they charged us four bucks for the bread that they brought to our euro. table euro thank you four euro for the bread um and I didn't eat the bread because, you know, as an American, I just assume that it's complimentary. And I didn't want to fill up on bread before my pasta came. So, yeah, it wasn't until the bread had been removed from the table and we got the bill that we saw that they charged us four euro for that bread. And I'm like, what? First time ever I've ever had that happen. So, if you go to that restaurant, do not get the lasagna. <laughs> I would not recommend it. And also know that when they put that uh, that uh, bowl of bread on your table, it's not complimentary. Let us know if that happened to you. If you've gotten bread and you had okay, you got charged for it. Yeah, is that an Italian thing? So, Thumbs down below. yeah, let us know down below. All right, so we are off to the Pantheon. We're only, um, we have about two and a half hours left. Um, and we're only like five minutes from the Pantheon and 20 minutes from our pickup spot, which is the Piazza del Popolo. 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 So, all right. See you in a bit. Okay. We made it. So, we're coming out of this little alley right here. There's a name right there. The name is right there, and or it's a road. It's a legit road. Cars were going all up and down it, squeezing past the pedestrians, and we're here at the Pantheon. She's crowded. Oh, she popular. She real popular. Oh my goodness. There are so many people here. All right, I'm trying to get far enough away that I can get a good shot because it's so massive that if I try to do it up close, you won't really see anything. All right. Let's see. It smells. It stinks. 
you know what that smell is. But here we are. Wow, it's huge. Very pretty. There are restaurants here in the square, and there's also um, there's also tourist shops if you're interested in getting some souvenirs. There's another little restaurant over there. You're good. All right. And now we're moving on to the next. Okay, we made it. So you come down this street into this square and here we have Treadmill Fountain. It's massive, as is everything in Rome. <laughs> really huge, a lot of people. Um, you can take the stairs down to get closer. We will not be battling the crowds to do that today. Super crowded out here, so there you go. Oh my gosh. Closer shot here. All right, we're going to go. Okay, and we walk from that direction to the Spanish Steps. Here we are. Very pretty. So Jason and I are going to sneak up this, take some photos, and we'll be on our way. We're very close to um, the piazza where we're supposed to meet the bus. So we're doing great on time. All right, so we're making our way up the steps. Our next site is actually behind them. So we're gonna climb up here. Oh, oh the struggle. <laughs> oh, the struggle. And here we are. We made it up the steps. Barely. <laughs> and down there is where we started. There. And this is what it looks like at the top of the Spanish stuff. Oh. Oh, I'm and behind us, we have this church. Oh. Oh Lord. And she's big. Like she goes back quite a ways. This is massive awesome obelisk in front. Alright. Okay guys, so we stopped at this restaurant. Uh Champ Champ Champini. Champini which is near the um, Spanner Steps. <laughs> and we were walking back to the piazza to catch our bus home, but we had some time to kill, so we stopped and got desserts. So I got the lemon ice, and Jason got the homemade There's, ice cream. Yeah, they make it since 1941. Nice, and sparkling water. So yeah, we're going to relax and hang out, burn some time with our desserts, and then we'll head out to catch our bus. We're only about, what, 10 minutes away, 12 minutes yeah. walk from where we need to be? Somewhere, yeah. Okay, guys, so these are really, really good, yeah. just so you know. 
Um, it's supposed to be lemon ice, but this doesn't taste like any lemon I've ever had. Like, it's super fresh. Yeah. And this is really, really rich and delicious. So, I highly recommend stopping at this place if you find yourself in the area. You now, it's a cute little cafe with a beautiful view. Um, so, they also serve pizza, of course. But yeah, you need to check this place out. Okay, guys, so here is the restaurant. And like I said, it's right down the street from the massive church at the top of the Spanish Steps. All right, and so now we're gonna head this way and go find our bus. Okay, guys, we made it with what, 10 minutes to spare? We are back here at the Piazza del Popolo. Popolo, Popolo. Oh, hello. Uh, there's our guy holding up the sign for us. And yeah, we're gonna head home we'll shortly. <laughs> so we're back in the Manhattan dining room here for dinner. It's extremely busy. Everybody's tour got back at the same time from Rome. Mom and Dad are having and the corn oven. Oh. Mom, Dad, and Jason are having the corn crab chowder. Chowder. That's good. I finished it already. It's really good. Jason's is done. And I had the pork pot stickers. Pork Shanghai pot stickers, which are also very, very good. There were three of them. Sorry. I was, like, down to the last one when I remembered that I was supposed to be recording. I'm having a dark and stormy, Jason's having a Mr. Worldwide, and Mommy's having a Bahama Mama. Daddy's having lemonade. All right, guys. So stay tuned for more of our dinner. Okay, guys, we're back after a long delay. I think it took like 30 minutes for our food to come. But again, that's because everyone got back from their Rome tours at the same time. So Mom got the sirloin with fries. New York steak. New York yeah, steak. Yeah. New York steak. Daddy got trout. I think so. Sweet potato mash. And a spinach salad. I have chicken cordon bleu with a potato salad. And I also got the uh, skillet cornbread, jalapeno cornbread as my starter. So I'm having these two together. Um, during our wait, our waiter was kind enough to bring us more drinks to help get us through. So we're going to dine now, but we are going to miss our show. Oh, my family here. Everything's good here. We're good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was him. He's awesome. He's doing what he can. But yeah, because everyone came back from their Rome tours at the same time, um, it's, it's a rush here. So it did take quite a long time for us to get our food. 